and it's about to get weirder. <laughs> oh, hey! Just having a book battle, you know how it goes. Sometimes you gotta pit two books together to figure out which one you like more, or even just read a book that has battles all in it, because who doesn't love a little action? I think that's what this video should be all about. Books that have weird battles. Weird battle books. Let's get right into the video. Hello everyone and welcome to another Book Talk with Talia. As we talked about, we are going to be talking all about weird battle books today. So any books that have one group against another in a battle, mostly. One book that absolutely fits on this list is Cats vs. Robots by Margaret Stahl and Lewis Patterson. I don't think I've ever thought of a weirder battle than between cats and robots, but this book surprisingly makes it work. For some backstory, the Feline Empire and the Robot Federation have been at war for eons. Now, that eons-long fight is making its way to a tiny, primitive planetoid, otherwise known as Earth. Both cats and robots have the same goal. They need to get the Singularity Chip. With the Singularity Chip, cats can go beyond their nine lives, and robots have eternal battery life. Meanwhile, on Earth, where the fight is headed, Min and Max are twin siblings who couldn't be any more different. Min always gets good grades, loves school, and loves to build robots. Max, on the other hand, is not that into school. He's a lot more into animals, and he actually just rescued two kittens. Little do Min and Max know, the robots and cats in their own house may end up tearing them apart completely. If the twins can't learn to work together, it might soon be too late because the war is coming, and they're gonna be a part of it. And that was Cats vs. Robots by Margaret Stahl and Lewis Peterson. One book that I didn't know I needed in my life, but absolutely did, is Knights vs. Dinosaurs by Matt Fallon. You may have heard of King Arthur's Knights of the Round Table, but never like this before. In Knights vs. Dinosaurs, the Knights of the Round Table have been living in a time of general peace. There's not really any dragons to slay, they don't have any big wars going on, so they've kind of just been twiddling their thumbs and making up lies about the dragons that they've been slaying. One of the knights, Sir Eric, tells a particularly large lie one night about slaying 40 dragons. That lie was just too much for the wizard Merlin to take. Merlin decides that he's gonna have a little fun and sends Sir Eric and three other knights to fight some real monsters. Merlin ends up sending the knights back in time to fight dinosaurs. The knights have, of course, never seen anything like the dinosaurs before, and they have no idea how they're going to get back to their own timeline, their own home. The knights are really going to have to band together to get back to their own time period, not be eaten by dinosaurs, and just overall in general prove why they are the knights of the round table. This book is filled with illustrations, so you do get to see all of the battles in their glory. And the chapters are nice and short, so you can just pick this up whenever you're feeling like it and have something kind of light and hilarious and action-packed to read. And that was Knights vs. Dinosaurs by Matt Fallon. You may have thought of this book already when I started talking about weird battles, and that is Warriors by Aaron Hunter. I'm just gonna go into the backstory of this so that you understand where Warriors began. A young kitty pet, or house cat, named Rusty has been having a lot of dreams lately about chasing down mice and actually getting to eat the prey. But as a house cat, Rusty's kind of stuck where he is, eating his cat food out of his cat bowl. One day, the call of the forest and all of the wild things in it is just too much for Rusty to resist any longer. Rusty decides to enter the forest even though he knows it might be dangerous and filled with wild cats. After entering the forest, it doesn't take long for Rusty to find a wild cat and actually get into a fight with them. After that, he ends up meeting a whole clan of wild cats, and it turns out that they kind of want Rusty to be on their side. The clan invites Rusty to live with them, but in order to do that, he's going to have to renounce everything that came before this. All of his kitty pet business, his collar, his old name, gotta go. So Rusty gets rid of his past, becomes Firepaw, and an apprentice to the Thunder Clan. Throughout the book, Firepaw has to learn how to be a good clan member, live in the wild, and overall just survive in this completely different terrain. In the warrior's world, there are four different clans. 
Thunder Clan, Shadow Clan, River Clan, and Wind Clan. There are other clans as well, but those are the main four. Each clan is different and has different types of lifestyles and cats in it. There is always going to be conflicts between the clans, and usually they can try and figure it out, but if they can't, there's going to be a battle, and it's going to be bloody. Sometimes, there's even going to be death. Maybe you've heard actual cats fighting outside your house before, or in the middle of the night or something, but you've never wondered why they're fighting. And you've never gotten to see cats duke it out like you do in this series. So Warriors is a huge series to uncover, and there's so much backstory and clans and cats to get to know, but if you just want to jump in with the very first one, I totally think you should, because these books get crazy, and always in the best way. And that was Warriors by Aaron Hunter. When I thought of weird battle books, I couldn't help but think of Stick Dog and Stick Cat. Not because they actually have any battles between them, but just because of course they're going to put these two books right up next to each other. They're both fun, illustrated chapter books by the same author, and one is about cats and one is about dogs. So it's a perfect battle, right there. The Stick Cat series follows none other than Stick Cat, of course. Stick Cat is smart, loyal, and clever. He lives with a human roommate and loves to hang out with his best friend, Edith. Stick Cat and Edith, who is also a cat by the way, always seem to end up in weird situations where they have to rescue people. And it's up to Stick Cat to deal with Edith and get the day saved. These cats end up in situations that no cat should ever end up in, but they always make it work somehow. Just as an example, in some of the books, Stick Cat and Edith have to stop a burglar, save a bagel maker who lives across the alley, save an old man who got stuck in a piano, and more. Now, Stick Dog has been around longer than Stick Cat, and there are already eight books in the series, so it already has a bit of an advantage, but beyond that, let's get right into what it's all about. Stick Dog is the leader of a group of stray dogs, probably because he's the smartest of the group. Stick Dog helps his friends find food to eat, he's patient with them, and overall, he's just a great friend. Since they're stray dogs, it's not going to be easy for them to grab some Halloween candy, get some free donuts, or enter an Italian restaurant and get a plate of spaghetti. But nothing is going to stop them from getting the delicious food that they desire. I'll be honest, I did read Stick Dog first purely because it was published first, so it's older and there are more books out there. And there's also a little bit more to the stories just because there's more than two characters, like in Stick Cat. But I love both of these series, and I think you'll really enjoy both of them. So if you like one and haven't checked out the other, you should definitely check out both. But let me know in the comments below which one you like best, if you like Stick Dog, or if you like Stick Cat, and if you want to see Stick Dog and Stick Cat get into some shenanigans together, I don't know. I think that would make a really cool crossover. That's something that they should definitely think about doing. And that was Stick Cat and Stick Dog by Tom Watson. And those are all the weird battle books that I have for you today, but as always, leave me some comments in the section down below so that I know what you're interested in, what books you want me to read next, what you're reading. Just Give me all the comments. I love to know what you guys are thinking. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up so that I know if you liked this video. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of the book talks and I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.